All right, Red and White, it's prediction time again. Connor and I are here to give you our predicted starting 11 to play Aston Villa on Saturday. Let's go over to Connor first. So I've just watched the press conference and there's no major changes to the team news, no injuries or suspensions or anything like that. No one's back to fitness like Austin, for example. And Koeman said that Villa is going to be a quite a hard game because they're relegated and they've got um, no pressure on them now. But for me, I think it'll be the complete opposite. I, I don't think the players have anything to play for, so most of them aren't going to be there next year. So, do you know what I mean? What are they doing at the clubs? Well, that's what most Villa fans could probably argue. But anyway, I'll get into my team. I'll start off with Forster in goal. Obviously, it's got to be him. Starting from left to right, I'm going to go with Bertrand at left back. The two centre backs obviously got to be Fonte and Van Dijk. They kind of pick those three, kind of pick themselves. And then right back, it's either Cucu Martina or Cedric Suarez. And for me, I'm going to go with Cedric. I just prefer him over Martina. It's just my opinion. Put in the comment who you prefer because it, it causes quite a debate in the comment, those two do. It's very split. But my two holding midfielders, I'm going to go with Wanyama and Classe. But I'm gonna. I think Jordan Classy has the license to go forward a bit more against um, this Villa side with Wanyama. He can hold the midfield by himself. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to, because we'll have most of the ball. And then the attacking trio behind the one striker. It's got to be Long on the right, Mane in the number ten in his best position. Like Freddie said last week, that's where I think his best position is as well. And then on the left-hand side, I don't have Tadic last week, but this week I'm going to go with Jay Rodriguez. What better game for him to come back to? A team that's relegated, his first start against Villa, and potentially get a goal or two maybe. Like he got that hat-trick for the 21s a few weeks back. And then up top, it's got to be Graziano Pella. Koeman was praising his form in the press conference and without without Pella and Austin's out injured, we haven't got many strikers, so it's... Pella's got to be the one that's starting there, really. But yeah, guys, that's my team. Over to Freddie. So that was Connor's team. Now it's time for mine. Let's start with goalkeeper Fraser Forster in goal. And this time, I'm going to start from right to left. I'm going to start off with Martin at right back. He's played the last uh, four or five games and he's kept his place under Koeman. I'm not sure what's going on with Cedric. There's been reports that he's not having a good time off the field. But um, I'm going to stay with Martin, even though I'm not the biggest fan of his. Let's go, let's go along the uh, the back line now. And so it's obviously going to be Jose Fonte sitting, sitting alongside uh, Virgil van Dijk and Ryan Bertrand. Those those three names, as Connor said, they pretty much pick themselves. But let's go up to the two holding midfielders now. I'm going to pick the two of the same players that Connor has picked, and it's going to be Wanyama and Classy. Uh, Classy seems to be enjoying his football recently, and he's actually said the other day that he's. It's his Southampton team. It's his second family, so it seems to, he seems to be enjoying himself uh, playing for the Saints. And when Yama's been doing quite well since he's come back from that five-match ban, so let's move on to the uh, three attacking midfielders now. So starting on the right-hand side of midfield, it's going to be the Irishman Shane Long for me. He's going to go straight into right midfield. He's been so consistent for us this season, and we've actually really missed him when he's been out of the team. So let's go along now to the number 10 role and I'm going to stick in Sadio Mane. Scored our goals, equalised against Everton last week and uh, he seems to be coming back to the form that he had sort of last season when he scored uh, those goals near the end of the season, especially that hat-trick against uh, Aston Villa going down in the Premier League record books. So let's go along to left midfield now. Connor has put in J-Rod. Uh, do you think he is ready for a starting position in the team? Let us know in the comments. I actually called him to start against Everton last week, but he only came on as a last-minute substitute and got a few minutes on the pitch. But I think my left midfield selection this week is going to go to Dusan Tadic. He probably had one of his best games in uh, a Saints shirt this season against Everton last week. OK, he didn't score a goal, but he looked really dangerous going forward and he actually rattled the crossbar from 20-odd yards. So it's, you know, it's, it's hard to kind of leave him out of the team having you know, brought that form forward uh, at, at, at this crucial time in the season. So let's go now to the striker, and it's only one man for me. It's going to be uh, Graziano Pella. Like Mane, like Tadic, his form has seemed to be uh, reborn at, at this late stage of the season, and he's scored some important goals over the past few weeks. I think j will to get on the pitch at some point against Villa, and hopefully he will show us what we've been missing for the last sort of six months or so when he got injured. Uh, in October, I think it was. So that's our teams. Let us know in the comments below what your starting 11 would be to play against Aston Villa. Let us know your score predictions as well. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel for more.